Today, we'll quickly run through 25 clever and easy gardening hacks and they're so useful that using them can change the way you garden forever. This is part 1 of the garden hacks compilation for the year 2018. Please watch the video till the end for the most exciting hacks towards the end of the video. Let's start. Use a magnifying glass to closely examine and diagnose your plant pests and insects to identify them and follow the treatment accordingly. Create a no stick shovel or any garden tool. Spray paint your garden shovel or any garden tool to protect it from rust and keep it clean. Lighten the weight of your pot. Use pieces of packaging foam or even thermocol pieces at the bottom layer of the container and mix lot of coco peat or peat moss and even you can add perlite into the mix to make it lighter. Protect plants during transport from a nursery. Use your home aluminium ladder like the batla and place your pots tightly in the ladder compartments. If you detect iron deficiency in your plant that is called iron chlorosis and if you see pale colored leaves instead of the dark green ones you can bury some iron nails around your plant. Help your root bound plants by root pruning or repotting them in larger pots. You can use candy sticks or even larger pebbles or even broken pot pieces as markers for your plants and seedlings. You can erase the permanent marker markings using rubbing alcohol and then reuse the same markers. You can make your own plastic bottle slow water feeding for your plants. Easiest one is make some small holes in the cork and invert the bottom and insert into the soil. You can roughly know the pH of your soil using baking soda and vinegar. Take two soil samples from different areas of your garden. Add vinegar to one sample and stir it. If it bubbles then it is alkaline soil. Now go to the other sample and add baking soda and water and stir well. If it bubbles then the soil is acidic. This is just an acid base reaction. Do not throw away eggshells. Crumple or powder them and sprinkle them around your plants and provide them a good source of calcium. And also it repels certain insects like slugs and snails. You can plant seeds and get seedlings in an eggshell or even citrus strain or similar stuff. You can also use paper coffee cups. You can plant the whole eggshell seedling complex into the soil directly. Grow sweet tomatoes using baking soda. Sprinkle baking soda around your plant soil which counteracts the acidity and yields sweet tomatoes. best use of tissue paper cardboard roll is to make seedling cups which are biodegradable and these also can be directly planted into the soil without disturbing the roots. You can build your own garden trellis using PVC pipes or even wooden sticks or even bamboo sticks. If you have water shortage, collect rainwater for your plants. For this you can either collect rainwater flowing out of from your terrace into the drain pipes or you can install or build a dedicated rainwater collecting system. Use plastic bins or containers as mini greenhouses or polyhouses for faster seed germinations. Sprinkle epsom salt or baking soda directly on slugs and snails to kill them and also rearing chicken which love to feed on these insects is another good idea if you're interested. In winter, to protect from frost, cover the plants at night with an empty pot or even with a polythene shopping bag. Do not throw away pencil shavings from your kids. Use them for mulching which also prevents weed growth and repels insects. Garden vegetables that become overripe are an easy target for pests. Remove them as soon as possible to avoid infection. 
Insects cannot stand plants such as garlic, onions, chives and chrysanthemums. Grow these plants around the garden to help repel insects. Add used tea waste or coffee grounds into your compost bin for faster composting because earthworms digest them very fast. You can also use tea waste or coffee grounds on flowering plants as an organic fertilizer to boost the blooms. Healthy soil means healthy plants that are better able to resist pests and diseases. And using neem cake biomix in soil to get rid of many plant diseases is a very good idea and also it is a fertilizer and nourishes your plants. Seal the injured end of your plant stem after pruning or the top end of your plant cutting during the process of cloning by just pouring one or two drops of wax from your burning candle. This will prevent moisture evaporation and results are better. And also it helps as a sealant for microbes and fungi. Happy New Year and Happy Gardening!